Okay, boys and girls, this week we're going to learn a new type of poem. Let's see what it's called. It's called a clary who and some vocabulary words to go with the clary who. It's a short poem about a famous person or animal and it's made up of two couplets. And what's a couplet? It's two lines that have to rhyme at the end. And the Clary Who this week has a rhyme scheme of A A B B. Last week we did a limerick with a different rhyme scheme, but a Clary Who this week has A A B B. And we're going to see what that looks like. But before we get there, what is it? It's a it's a it's a biography, a humorous and short biography about somebody. And it's usually about well-known people or like celebrities or historical figures. Everybody has to know that person. It's a popular person. And, and it's supposedly, it's supposed to be fun to read. Who invented the Clary Who? It's this guy here. When he was 16 years old, he created Clary Who's. His name, Edmund Clary Who Bentley. He wanted to make good, clean fun of certain famous people. So he decided that there was no better way to do so than with poetry and with laughs. So why are we writing it? It's because it's a fun type. It's easy to read, very short. It's similar to jokes. And it's good, clean fun of people everyone knows. And the rules, it follows an AABB rhyme scheme. First and second line should rhyme. Third and fourth line rhyme. And there are no specific length. Okay? And how do you begin? You start with the person's full name. You pick the topic, what you're going to talk about. You gather the information about the person. The name should always be on the first line or within the first line of the poem. And after that, there are only three more lines to go. And the trick to writing a Clary Who is that it includes true facts about the subject. You arrange them in a way that makes the poem funny. You tell no lie. You just exaggerate. Okay? So let's look at some examples. Pre famous president example. George Washington was a great guy who could not tell a lie. As the first president of the United States, he rarely had time to take his wife on dinner dates. Look at the rhyme scheme. Guy, lie, states, dates. Got it? Next one. A fictional character that we all know, Peter Pan. There once was a boy named Peter Pan. In Neverland, he had a clan. He always remained a very young boy who loved to play with any toy. Okay? A famous Native American. I love Native Americans. Buffalo Bill. Offer the thrill, perform for the queen a most colorful scene. And look at the rhyme scheme again A, A, B, B. Here's another one. Somebody you all know and very famous too. My teacher, Miss Hansen, has two adorable grandsons, and she always loses her glasses at the start of my classes. Rhyme scheme again, A, A, B, B. Let's move on. Here's a fictional comic strip character, a famous character. Everybody knows him. That's Garfield the cat. On his rear he sat, eating lasagna galore all around the decor. SpongeBob SquarePants. He lives in the sea. He likes to laugh with you and me. 
He lives near his friend Patrick Starr, and the jellyfish fields are really far. C me a a b b so what are you doing this week this week you are going to write two clary who's third graders fourth graders or fifth graders two clary who's i have given you a, a list of ideas that you could choose from here they are famous past president and I emphasize past, president, any book characters that you have read about, any famous African Americans, your best friend, your pet, any fictional character, or any of your teachers. Please follow my instructions carefully, okay? And here you have a, 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 a worksheet that you can work on. You gotta have the name of your person. Line one and two have the same rhyme scheme. Line three and four end up with the same rhyme scheme. If you do need rhyming words, you could go to this link here, or not a link, but a website, and put your rhyming word in and come your word that you want to rhyme with and you'll get a list of rhyming words to help you so remember clary who's just have a few simple rules four lines long first and second line rhyme third and fourth line rhyme the name of the person should be on the first line and it should be funny you're not counting syllables or words you're just giving some facts in a fun way, okay? Your rubric this week, two clary holes for 50 points. One clary who turned in will be 25. Spelling errors, use of language, correct format, all that gets added up, okay guys? So I miss you and um i would prefer to be in my classroom with you but you know we can't so hang in there and know that i love you and you do the best you can with what we have okay love you guys take care bye bye